Hello everyone. I am Makoto Nishimura, Memorial Sloan Catering Cancer Center. Hi, my name is Galen Leung. I'm an advanced therapeutic endoscopist at the University of Pennsylvania and formerly at Memorial Sloan Catering Cancer Center. Okay, uh, Jaren, let's talk about our recent study. Uh, our recent manuscript, uh, Technical Feasibility of Salvage Endoscopy Submucosa Dissection after chemo radiation for locally advanced rectal adenocarcinoma. So our objective for this study was to retrospectively evaluate the technical feasibility of salvage ESD, uh, which is uh, endoscopic submucosal dissection after chemo radiation for locally advanced rectal cancer, and compare the R0 and N block resection rates with standard ESD without prior chemo radiation. Okay, uh, what is the conclusion of our study? So our conclusion was that salvage ESD was technically feasible uh, when compared to standard ESD without prior chemo radiation. The N block and R0 resection rates were high and comparable to standard ESD. In addition, the adverse event rates were low and comparable when compared to standard ESD. So what is the importance of this study? So our study is important uh, because according to uh, the NCCN guidelines on locally advanced rectal cancer, the standard treatment for uh, these lesions is chemo radiation uh, followed by restaging and then surgical proctectomy. However, there are emerging data showing that patients with locally advanced rectal cancer who receive chemo radiation, uh, a significant number of them have complete pathological response. Uh, in addition, there was a study a couple years ago here at Memorial Sloan Kettering uh, showing that uh, adenocarcinoma lesions uh, in the rectum that underwent uh, chemo radiation, a lot of them had disappearance of their neoplasia and transformation into residual adenoma. So in this case, it may be reasonable that after these patients receive chemo radiation that we perform salvage ESD in order to assess for a complete pathological response and if there is only residual adenoma uh, remaining, then salvage ESD may be potentially therapeutic in removing that residual adenoma. And thus these patients uh, may be able to avoid surgery. Okay, so how do you study as the existing knowledge? Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of previous studies uh, studying uh, technical feasibility of salvage ESD, but in esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, uh, in these studies, it was mentioned that after chemo radiation, a lot of these uh, residual lesions uh, had extensive submucosal fibrosis, which makes uh, ESD very technically difficult. Uh, so we wanted to study sort of the technical feasibility of salvage ESD uh, in locally advanced rectal cancer, which uh, prior studies have not focused on this uh, sort of cancer. So which kind of ESD technique we use? Mm -hmm. So to overcome these challenges of uh, the technical difficulty of salvage ESD and very fibrotic lesions, uh, we have various techniques and tools. Uh, one valuable technique is the pocket creation method. Uh, we also have tools such as using a tapered cap, uh, various traction devices, and we can always adjust the electrosurgical settings for our cutting and coagulation settings. So what's coming next? So now that we know that salvage ESD is technically feasible in locally advanced rectal cancer, we want to study what are the clinical outcomes if we were to utilize uh, this technique for locally advanced rectal cancer. Uh, so like I said, uh, for NCCN guidelines, the standard treatment is uh, surgery uh, following a neuroadjuvant chemo radiation. But what if we are able to perform salvage ESD for these lesions after uh, new adjuvant chemo radiation, assess for a complete pathological response. And then if there's residual adenoma, we remove it by salvage ESD. And, these, and then these patients can avoid surgery. Well, how do these patients do in terms of uh, recurrence rates and disease-associated mortality when compared to sort of the standard therapy of surgical proctectomy after new adjuvant chemo radiation? Okay, uh, thanks to GIE for accepting our uh, manuscript and we will proceed to and gathering further studies. Yeah, and thank you as well. Uh, we look forward to 
uh, for our ongoing clinical outcome study, as well as producing many more studies on salvage ESD and ESD in general. And we look forward to sharing it with the world. Thank you.